So here we have a couple of triangles and two right triangles here and we want to find X. Now there's this right triangle that's on the right. We have 52 degrees and we want to find X but we don't know any of the sides. So we can't set it up with right triangle trig, at least not yet, till we can find a side. So the first thing we're going to do is focus on the other triangle. So let's look at this triangle right here. I'm just going to highlight it in yellow so you can clearly see what I'm talking about. And we see in that triangle that we have an angle 41. We got a side opposite 52 and we can find a side in that other triangle. It's the hypotenuse of this yellow triangle, but it's a leg of this triangle that's on the right. So let's go ahead and set up a trig function to find the y. And I see I've got an angle of 41 opposite and hypotenuse, so that's going to be a sine function. Sine of 41 degrees is going to equal opposite, which is 52, over hypotenuse, which is y. Now we're going to solve that for y. So we've got y equals 52 over sine of 41 degrees. Now I know a leg in that other triangle, so I'm going to go ahead and connect those that angle with those sides so I have 52 and I have opposite and hypotenuse in this right triangle so it's going to be sine again this time it's going to be the sine of 52 degrees is going to equal opposite which is y over hypotenuse which is x and I'm going to solve that for x so x is going to be y over the sine of 52 degrees and now I can substitute that in right here for y. And so x is going to be 52 over sine 41 degrees. And then that will need to be divided by the sine of 52 degrees. So now we're going to punch buttons and we will round it to two decimal places. So when I grab my calculator, I did 52 divided by sine of 41 degrees, and I get 79.26, and it continues. And I leave that in my calculator, and then I divide that by sine of 52, and that is going to give me 100.58 rounded to two decimal places. And so that will be our side x.